Welcome back to our Two Minute Tuesdays with Trish and Pastor Dave and Steve. Yay, Steve. <laughs> tick, 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 two minute, two, two, two. All right, so today's question, we got it from Steve. <laughs> well, not that not Steve, Steve, technically, but that would be cool. <laughs> if gummy you, bears! If, All right, gummy bears, gummy bears, gummy bears, gummy bears, Steve, fuck okay, it, okay, 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 okay. If you know that Steve, I want to meet that Steve. That's cool, he can come over and have dinner. <laughs> gummy bear soup like. <laughs> Or he just like rips off his head. That's the grossest two minute Tuesday we've ever had. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie, you get cloudy yeah, with cloudy meatballs. With a chance. meatballs. Yeah, yeah, cloudy with a chance. Meatballs. Cloudy just meatballs. Yeah, I just cloudy say cloudy meatballs. meatballs. Yeah, because I have kids. That's a, Can cloudy we watch meatballs. cloudy meatballs? <laughs> like when there were five. All right. All right, 500 minutes later, we're going to get to this question. <laughs> 12 minute Tuesdays. <laughs> so, all right, Steve asked, who was Judas and what do we think of him? Okay, Judas, start the clock. Two minutes, here we go. Uh, Judas was obviously the disciple who betrayed Jesus. We all know that, but we do weird things with Judas because we have a weird relationship with ourself and our relationship to the universe. So one thing we do with Judas is we tend to hyper-focus on him. What made him tick? As if we could discover what was wrong with Judas and then we could avoid his sin and then we're not Judas. Uh, the other thing that we do is we hyper-villainize Judas and we say, oh, he's the worst example of the worsty worst ever. And again, then I'm not Judas. Or small segment of people also go, hey, you know, don't blame Judas, it's okay, whatever, it's fine. And then there's nothing wrong. And again, we're not Judas. Guess what? None of that really works. What Judas did was really icky. It was definitely a betrayal, but it's not because he was the worst villain in the universe different than all of us. It's precisely because all of us left to our own devices in one way or another are going to betray perfection, love, and whatever. None of us are perfect, and Judas is just a prime example of that. He may be on one end of the spectrum, but we're all on there somewhere. So when we see Judas, we really see ourselves. We should have some contempt for that. We should have some empathy and pity for that. It also causes us to throw ourselves on the mercy of God and say, you know, if this is up to me, I'm just going to blow it like he did. So please let this not be up to me. Please let there be a force in the universe besides my own perception and my own desire. And that's what Judas helps us remember about ourselves. Awesome. Well, if you have your own questions, we'd love to hear from you. And just check out myvoiceychurch.org. And or, also, yeah, you want to say like, lightofthespirit.church. Yeah, so check them out both. Um, we post all our Two Minute Tuesdays on either one. So we will see you there and we will see you with the next question next week. Question mark. <laughs> see ya.